Hi guys, so welcome to the Art of Server. Today's video is sort of a follow-up video to one of my previous videos where I showed you how to fix Java to get your iDRAC 6 Virtual Console app to work. So I have that video pulled up on the screen here. And for many of you, following the tips in that video really helped uh, get things working for you, which is great. I'm really happy that that was helpful. But I noticed one comment, and I'll kind of show you down here. Uh, here it says, I'm still unable to launch the Virtual Console after these changes. Anybody mind helping? So unfortunately, without the problem directly in front of me, it was a little bit hard to troubleshoot. On, so I could only respond with kind of general suggestions. But it turns out I ran into this problem myself recently. And so I was able to kind of diagnose the problem and fix it. So I want to show you today how I went about to do that. All right. So first of all, let me just show you the problem. All right. So I have the same settings uh, on this machine regarding uh, putting the IP address in the exceptions list and also removing RC4 as one of the disabled algorithms. And I have two R710 servers. I have one here, which is R710 revision one uh, with firmware version 2.92 build 05. And I have another one that's identical, uh, except that it's a revision two R710 and but the firmware version is also 2.92 build 05. Now, if I launch the virtual console app, all right, click through all the annoying prompts and it works, right? So this is with the IP address in the exceptions list and with RC4 removed from the disabled algorithms. All right, so no problems here. Now, here's the other server with the same version of iDRAC. We'll launch. Okay, and again, we'll click through all the annoying prompts. And I get connection failed. Right, so that's really strange. Or at least when I first saw this, I said, whoa, why, why is that? This, I'm, talk, you know, I'm using the same version of iDRAC firmware. Um, the server is essentially the same other than the revision number is slightly different. What's going on? So, all right, let's get out of this. And I'll show you, well, I'm not gonna show you all the things I went through because I actually tried a few other things before I finally got, um, the answer to why uh, that why we get that connection failed there. Okay, so the what amongst the many things that I was doing to kind of try to figure out what the problem is, uh, I wanted to connect to those servers at a at a lower level to kind of see the details of what's going on when I'm connecting. So a lot of times, by the way, when you get a connection failed, that is usually an indication of some sort of encryption failure. Okay, or encryption related failure. So it, it's going to usually involve some Java security policy that disabled some algorithm that you know it wants to use that Java is rejecting. So in order to troubleshoot that, I wanted to connect to those servers directly at a low level, not using the browser and all this other stuff. Uh, so I use the OpenSSL client. So this is at 217. All right, so we can use the OpenSSL client uh, in the S client mode and we'll do connect at 192.168.0.217 and port 443. All right. All right, so that connection seems to have worked. Now, the important part is the certificate. Let's Let's put this certificate in a file. All right, so this was the iDRAC 6 from the R710.1. I'll just... All right, now let's do the same thing for the one that was working so we can look at the difference. So this is uh, 241. Okay, made the connection and let's look at the certificate here. So 
So I will put that in a file uh, for the R710 uh, revision 2. Okay, so we can look at these files. And of course, these are all encoded, so you're really not going to make much sense uh, out of this just looking at that. But we can decode this. So we're going to use OpenSSL in the X509 mode, and we're going to decode this into text that we can read. Oops, IDRAC. All right, so that's that's the IDRAC uh, from the R710 one. And we'll do the same thing over here on the other terminal. And this will be from the second. Let me pipe that into uh, less so that All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so we're decoding those certificates that we got from the two IDRACs. And right here is the critical difference. So this is the one that did not work. This is the R710-1. And you'll see that the signature algorithm says MD5 with RSA. Whereas on the one that did work, it says SHA-1 with uh, RSA. Now, MD5 is one of those algorithms that uh, was very widely used uh, a long time ago, and it's now considered uh, insecure, especially for um, purposes that are used here for uh, uh, signatures. Okay, so if we go to the Java security policy, and that is located in slash user, slash Java, latest, slash lib, slash security, slash Java dot security. Okay. Remember, this is the setting that we changed last time, the JDK.TLS dot disabled algorithms. And this is where we removed RC4 because uh, the iDRAC connection wants to use RC4. So if we disable that, that's where we get a connection failed. But we're still getting connection failed right now. And that's because note what we see here right after the DES, MD5 with RSA. And so again, this is MD5 with RSA. So we have to remove this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Now, in addition to that, there's one other place where we need to remove this because this is in the uh, certificate stuff. So go back up in the file. Okay, so under here, uh, where it says jdk.certpath.disabled algorithms, you will see that MD5 is listed as one of the disabled algorithms. So we have to re-enable that. And we'll do that by just removing the uh, MD5 from there, and we'll go ahead and save. So I've now changed two additional settings in the java.security file, and let's give it a try again. Let's see if it now works. And there you go, now it works. So let me go ahead and close the Java console there. So that's, uh, yeah, that, that was the issue. Basically that for whatever reason, this other uh, IDRAC, and now I can't explain to you why this uh, IDRAC on the R710 revision one, uh, even though it has the same exact version of firmware, has a certificate that is different. I don't know why that is. I would have thought that the certificate would have been replaced when you installed the, because this is the default self-signed certificate, that it would be part of uh, the firmware package, but maybe it's not, maybe it's automatically generated. I don't know um, how that happens, but, uh, but they are different. And this was the problem, was the basically uh, MD5 with RSA was disabled. Uh, and so if you re-enable that in the java.security file, uh, hopefully that will solve this for you. So I'm hoping that for, you, for those of you guys who uh, tried the settings that I suggested in the last video, if it's still not working for you, give this a try and see if this uh, fixes the problem for you. Now, if that still doesn't work, uh, go back and look at what I just did 
basically uh, most of the time when you get a connection failed error it has something to do with the encryption or the security basically and so uh, go ahead and try the connection at a low level using the open SSL tool and just see what the difference is uh, that you might see between what you're seeing here and uh, and the, the system that you're having problems with okay so hopefully that helps you guys out uh, I'm really hoping that that will be the final tweak required for you guys to get your iDRAC virtual console apps to work. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a like and uh, be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.